Hey everyone, welcome back to my video and thank you for joining me today. I am out here in the beautiful Redwood Park of Humboldt County, California, and I hope you enjoy um, all of the big trees behind me as this is one of the most beautiful places in Arcata, California. So I'm out here today and um, sharing with you another tutorial of buzz saws. So we're going to be learning three different variations of how to do the buzz saw movement. And I am using my fire fans that are Russian grip, five wick, and um, I encourage you to use your fans out there and follow along. I have, um, for every video that I make, uh, an intention that goes behind each move. And so I want to share with you uh, today what intention I set behind this practice. And so for the buzz saw, I have um, set the intention of processing heavy emotions and transforming them back to the light. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And as we set our intentions into our flow, we have this intentional flow that we create within our own lives. And as we practice these movements, we integrate this intention into our life and we transform our own life through practice. So. Here I am today. I'm going to share three different variations of buzzsaw and I hope you like this video. Thanks. So today we're going to be working on a hall plane forward in front of us and our buzzsaw is going to be with um, a forward movement. Let's start with our right hand forward and we're going to be just moving our fan with one hand forward on a hallway plane like so. directly in front of our body. And you can do this up or down, but to start with the basic buzz saw, let's do this right directly in front. And our left hand is going to be going backwards. So we're going to be rotating our left hand fan backwards on the same plane of movement, which is the hall plane. And getting that movement as flat as possible and keeping your plane super flat gives a better dimension to this move. So we have forward with our right hand, that flat hall plane, and backwards. Forward, and then backwards. And then forward, and then backwards. And then forward, and then backwards. And so to be able to put these together, we're going to be doing them at the same time. So we're going to flip them. So this creates opposite direction, same time. Because they're going to be hitting the points on the clock at 12 and 6 at the same time, but they're flowing in opposite directions. <laughs> and then stop and do it in the opposite way. And the opposite way. So I encourage you to practice on both sides to build that muscle memory for yourself with both hands. So you can be fluid in both directions. So the next variation of this buzz saw is going to be forward split time. Forward rotation, split time. And then keeping it on your hall plane in front of you. You're going to practice the muscle memory of just rotating your hand forward. And your left hand is going to be rotating as well, but in a split time, it's a split timing. They're not going to be hitting 12 and 6 on that ethereal clock in front of you, <laughs> that imaginary circle in front of you. They're going to be hitting it at splitting time. So you're going to be doing it forwards. And then the third one is going to be backwards. So you're going in the same direction back, but it's split time. So one is following the other, essentially. All right. So I hope you got something out of this video today and you got an idea of what 
and how to do the basic buzzsaw movement. And so you can really get into your buzzsaw movement and create different body shapes in your formation, in your dance. And um, while you're burning, you have them on fire and you can create different ways of doing this move through your body posture. But still, you're gonna have the three different variations of it, which are opposite directions, same time. And then we have forward split time. Same time, same direction, split time. And then we have the backward, same direction, split time. I'm just gonna go forward with it and then back. Awesome. Well, give me a thumbs up. I hope you like this video. I'm making little tutorials like this so that I can share the intention and the move um, and get people interested in how I teach and just share some love out there in the world. Have a good day.